Good morning, class! Good morning, morning. Master uh, Dayan! Tayo ko si Tsai Lao, sure! So, today, what I did ko, pay very close attention to the lesson. So, let's like I see. One hour later. Okay. So, did everyone pay close attention? Because right now, then, oh, graded recitation. Hello, <sighs> may graded recitation? Hindi po naman ako nakikinig. Uh, um, uh, Lord, please help me. Sorry, di ako nakikinig. Pero please help me to answer yung mga tanong ni ma'am. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Hindi ganyan. Ha? Huh? Ano yun? Pasensya ko ba yun? Lord, please, 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 strengthen me so I can do all things, especially answering the graded recitation. Hindi nga ganyan. Uy, sino ka? Hi! Ako ang katulong sa'yo. You're using Philippians 4.13 wrong. Ay, ganun ba? Sorry. Nabasa ko lang kasi siya sa isang t-shirt eh. <laughs> well, you're still using it wrong. But no worries, I'm here to help you understand the verse. So, have you ever been in this kind of situation where you kind of used your favorite Bible verse when you were encountering problems? Well, even though it's really good to use God's word, there is a time and a good reason to use it. And not just in times of convenience. Hi, I'm Miss Kotet and I'm here to help you along with my assistance to understand and use Bible verses the right way. So, although the Bible is filled with thousands of promises and it can be just quoted just like any other books, we should still remember that the Bible is both a divine and a human book. Divine because God's Spirit inspired the writers, 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 16 to 21, and enlightened the believing readers, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 12 to 14. So, comparing scripture with scripture is very important. The Bible is also a human book because it was written by human writers at specific times, places, events, and languages while using their own writing styles. So now that we've established these truths about the Bible, we will now begin in interpreting a passage in harmony with its context using Philippians 4.13 as our first example. So let's begin with the book. The book of Philippians was written by Apostle Paul and his main audiences were his Christians of Philippi. When Apostle Paul wrote this, he wasn't chilling at his house. He actually wrote this while he was in prison. So if I were him and I could tell my readers that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, the first thing I'll probably do is try to get out of jail. But we all should know that that is not the meaning of this verse. So we go further. If you look at the verse before Philippians 4.13, it says, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Then Philippians 4.13 follows, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So when Apostle Paul was saying, I can do all things, he actually meant being able to be content in every way. And that's it. It's not being able to do absolutely everything through Christ. It's being able to be content. So now that we've learned more about the context and the meaning of Philippians 4.13, we can finally use it in the right way. Oh, na gets ko na. Salamat, Miss Quoted. Pero, pwede paturo yung lesson ni mo. Oh, di ko kaya i-cover yan. Bye! Wait, wait, wait! Okay. Are you guys ready for the graded recitation? Uy, kamusta? Narinig ko may recitation kayo. Oo, oh, pre. Sinabi mo pa. Wala akong nasagot. Pero, may natutunan naman ako. Natuto ka bang makinig sa teacher? Ah, Oh, isa yan. I learned the real meaning of I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh? Ano? Well, uh, 